Piper Sandler's Harsh Kumar is with us, and he has an $850 price target and a buy rating on the stock. Harsh, thanks for being with us. What stood out to you this quarter? There's a lot to choose from. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me on your show. So it was a fantastic quarter. It was a $2 billion beat on the January quarter, $2 billion beat on the April diet. To, to me, there were four things that stood out, and I think you mentioned some of them. Uh, first thing is the air supply constraint through the calendar 2024 timeframe. Plus, they have two new chips coming out. There's the H200 coming out, and then there's a whole new architecture, the Blackwell's coming out later this year. And historically, whenever there have been new products, they always have a demand bump. So we don't see supply constraints going away. We see revenues, you know, continuing to climb. Uh, to me, of course, the surprise was the inference piece that you were talking about a little bit earlier, but also the fact that they now have China chip approval. So I'm calling it China chip for lack of a better word, but as you recall, uh, NVIDIA was banned from selling into China. It's about a $3 billion a quarter business, or about $12 billion annually. But last night, they sort of surprised everybody by saying they're sampling, and they actually shipped commercially just a little bit of that, of that China-specific chip. Uh, so they did about a billion uh, in China, and used to be a $3 billion business. So expectation is that they've got the green light, and that business will climb up to $3 billion a quarter, $12 billion a year, roughly $4 in additional EPS. And then, of course, everything else was super strong. Uh, cloud remains very strong. Software company business remains very strong. Sovereign remains very strong. And we can see why software companies and sovereign do not want to put their data on AWS or Azure or anything else. And then, you know, last but not least, this is the only full stack provider. You guys talked about software a little yeah. bit earlier before I came on. Uh, there is nobody else, um, and you've got to run, and you've got to manage these these complex servers, and you're back to NVIDIA with a $4,500 per GPU per year license. So we think that business is about to take off. Yeah, it's the ecosystem, right, that goes beyond just the chips. And on that front, Har, she mentioned NVIDIA AI Enterprise and the idea of creating an operating system for AI. He said that they would charge $4,500 per GPU per year. What kind of revenue stream does that look like for them? So if you do the math, I mean, we, we had published a piece out about, I think it's a year old. We were estimating about 5 to $6 billion in revenues by 2030, but we were not anticipating AI enterprise to be coming on this strong and the adoption for AI to be this, this strong. So uh, a large part of that particular piece was driven by drive. So don't forget that they also play into autonomous driving and companies like Mercedes-Benz, for example, will share 50% of their autonomous revenues with NVIDIA. So right. you sign up for autonomous driving, you get $12,000, mm -hmm. you write a check for $6,000 to, to NVIDIA. But the AI enterprise suite, you know, this company has an install base of tens of millions of GPUs out there for the last 15, 20 years. And I would say for the data center side, over the last seven to eight years, and all of those are going to need to be managed. So right. uh, we can see this being a multi-billion dollar stream with software-like margin profile. So 90% mm -hmm. margin profile and operating margins in the 60s and 70s.